Now, we look at our third example. We are told to state whether 43,194 is divisible by 8. We are going to use the same method. So, we look at the solution. The number we are given is 43,194. Now, this number has 5 digits also. But remember, to test the divisibility for 8, we are only interested in the last 3 digits. So, starting on this side, the last 3 digits are 1, 2, and 3. So, we are only interested in digit 1, 9, and 4. We take those digits and we divide them by 8. And as we have been saying, if this number will not have a, div a remainder when divided by 8, then that number is divisible by 8. So, it will be 194 we divide by 8 19 divided by 8 will be 2 because of 16 because 2 times 8 is 16 you subtract 9 minus 6 will be a 3 and 1 minus 1 will be 0 so we bring down the 4, we have 34. 34 divided by 8 will be 4 because of 32. Because 4 times 8 will give you 32. We subtract. 34 minus 32, we have a remainder of 2. Therefore, in this case, this number has a remainder. Of two, so it has a remainder. Now, when a number of the last three digits has a remainder, it means the number is not divisible by eight because it has a remainder. So you can write that our number, which is forty-three thousand one hundred and ninety-four is not divisible sorry, divisible by 8 this whole number is not divisible by 8 because it has a remainder 